Lan! Okay, so we're going to do an audit of the police station at Barrow. It's going to be Christmas Eve and before we go over, I just want to say that Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you all have a great day. I'll spend the morning with my son. Let him open all his presents. He's three at the moment, so it's really the first Christmas he's going to appreciate properly. Looking forward to opening his presents. And if there's anyone out there that's not going to have a great Christmas, uh, for whatever reason, if you're on your own, or you're going through some stuff, personal stuff, health problems, financial problems, family problems, then I'll drop my email in a link on this video. And give us an email tomorrow Christmas Day and I'll get back in touch with you and uh, yeah hopefully we'll make it a little less lonely or a little less rubbish for those of you that aren't going to be having a great day like the majority of people so just give us an email and I'll try and get back to you tomorrow right let's go and see what Barrow Police have got to say right guys today we are at Barrow Inferno's police station and this is kind of a follow-up one that I'm doing here I'm actually going to go in and basically sort of confront them about how they've treated me in the past so right let's go Tell I'm not used to coming in here, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought when I said that, I thought, that, I hope that doesn't make her think that. Hiya, <laughs> hey, you alright? Um, I've just want to come in, I've sort of had some encounters with your officers earlier in the year. Um, I was just wondering if I could leave these for the staff, is that alright? Because you've been very good to us. In fact, what I've been doing is, is going round various police stations across the country and all the ones that I've been to so far, you've been the best. So what it is, it's basically just to say thanks for being good. And um, for the auditing that I do and everyone that watches, I just want to give you the Police Station of the Year Award 2020. So you've been absolutely superb. Um, it's Matt. I can't give me a second name. <laughs> it's a thing that I do on, uh, on YouTube, yes. Uh, so it's Matt. They'll, they'll probably know who I am anyway. Just say Matt with a camera. Um, yeah, they'll uh, they'll probably know me. They've had a few encounters. They've spoke to us. There's been a few things. We've had some uh, conversations and stuff, and they've been absolutely You've superb. Had with us, have you? Pardon? You've had involvement with us. Yes, that's you? right. Yeah, yeah, and it's all been great, which is really good. Right. Every every single officer that I've spoke to, who's come and asked me what I'm doing, they've been so professional, so friendly that it's absolutely great. And uh, it doesn't always go that, like that with the police sometimes. Sometimes it can be a bit hostile and a bit aggressive. But every member of staff that I've had at Barrow Police Station have been absolutely superb. So thank you very much from me and from everyone else. Um, yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. It means a lot to everyone. So I'll leave them with you and just say thanks to everyone that's, you know, been good. Just keep up the good work. Don't ever change. I remember the last police station, was it the old one where you were at? Um, down the other end of town. You had a leaflet, it was a big leaflet, and it was up on the wall, and it said, it just said simply, give respect, get respect, and I feel like that's something I've always tried to do when I've been out and about visiting other police stations. I think it's, you know, it's a really sound bit of advice, and that's all it's taken, and basically that's exactly what you should have done every time you've met us, so just, again, thank you very much. I'll leave them with you, 
and pass on my regards to all the other officers and all the other staff. I hope you have a great Christmas. All right, no problem at all. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Yes, you are. No, no problem at all. I wasn't actually 100% sure if you'd be able to accept the gifts or not. Yeah, yeah. Which is why I should really have details off you. Right. But if you say that they'll know who you are. Yeah, they, they should do, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll, uh, I can give you some details when I shut this off if you want, that'll be fine. Right. So, if it I means that what you want, would you prefer that if I did that? I prefer some details. Yeah, 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 I can do that for you, yeah, all right then. Right, I'll just end this now again. It's Barrow and Furnace Police, best police station of the year so far. So, there you go. Drop them some comments, guys. Show them some appreciation. It's what we want. And uh, I'll see you next week with another video. And so there you have it, guys. Christmas one for Barrow Place. I thought I'd give that award out because we do a lot of videos and we come across many douchebags in the police. And this isn't the case here. It's not just one good encounter that I've had. It's maybe about three or four. Um, even during the arrest, where I was arrested for obstruction, they were really good, believe it or not. It was pretty straightforward. They processed us quickly. Um, one of them we even went to see how Oscar was, checked up on him, came back, said, oh, he's all right. He'll be back, back to see him soon. Um, said he's a lovely dog. He's so quiet, so cute. And I said, yes, he is. He's a great dog. Uh, he carried on saying, asking what kind of dog he was. And then the, the counter staff were also asking about him. And they were sharing stories about they knew someone who had one as well. Um, the chap who fingerprinted me, he was absolutely superb, he was lovely. Uh, it's just really good that you can come across something like that even when you've been arrested, that they remain professional. Not only professional, but they go out of the way to be nice to you. Even when they've taken you into custody. Total different sort of scenario from Darlington, where they just held me for as long as they could. And... Uh, thought there was much stuff they could throw at me, adding the antisocial behaviour on after 12 hours when there was no such thing. Uh, it's like I say, yeah, they arrested me, but they didn't have to be nice to me while they were doing it. And they did, so that's uh, also helped the case. So yeah, top stuff. Cumbia Police, Barrow in Furnace, absolutely top job. That's how it should be done, each and every time. Well done, guys. Absolute credit to the police force. And I'll see you next week with another video.